Hey kids, getting back from Let's Play Shining Force. Yeah, we're gonna make a record. And we get to chapter four, the Great Fortress of Balbazak. Pal Prairie discover Oh, town of wagons, huh? That's cool. Nice interesting little concept here. Um, no, who is he? Oh, so he's for with the enemy. Oh, that was nice of him. Well, thanks. Thanks for the warm welcome. There's the priest there. There's a few, a uh, couple characters in this town you can recruit. That's the, uh, the headquarters. This is some sheep or lamb or ram or whatever. Oh, okay. Well, I, mean, I guess he's kind of happy and prideful about his... Or him but told, huh? He's prideful about his machines. You leave him alone, that driver, man, guy. Alright, so this guy... Oh, do you? What do you have? Alright. He has nothing. <laughs> nothing that I can't buy anywhere else. What about this guy? And leave. Um, I don't want to talk to that guy just yet. Oh, so what are you worried about? Nothing? And... Need a longsword! Which is awesome. Because it is the final, the first actual upgrade that I could get. Vancar? Um, I don't know, but I haven't seen anybody with that name. I don't think I can get in here. Oh, well, fine. Is there any way I can... No, there is certainly no way I can get in this train. Hmm. Well, there was one guy that we didn't talk to. Hey, dude. Oh, so it is, uh, General Elliot. Great. Uh, yeah, let's listen to what he has to say. Okay. Dark Soul? Oh, okay, so again, the main enemy is controlled by a different main enemy. Ramladu, uh, okay. Oh, of course he did. And of course you are, because you can't, you know... When the guy's not the same as, you know, who he's been, and you, you're, he's controlled by somebody else, you can't portray him because blah, 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 loyalty. You know what? Why don't you free your kingdom of that kind of, you know, their clutches there? Alright, now all the, uh, guards have abandoned their posts here. So we're gonna open this. And a bird of life. Red of Light increases HP, um... I don't want to give this to, um... I think it to May, because May has a ridiculous amount of health, a ridiculous amount of defense, and fairly low health, so... Oh, okay. Also, thanks to uh, Ryan Phoenix, I am now well aware of how certain things work in this game. Like, uh, how a person will have better stats if you upgrade... Oh, there's two dead people. If you upgrade them after, you know, a little later than when you normally would. And what I'm going to do right now is because of that, I'm going to remove... I'm going to get Xylo back into my party, because he is ridiculously overpowered. And I'm going to remove Dork. Because essentially, they are the same as, uh, 
they are the same as fighters go, you know. Good defense, good attack. But at the end of everything, Xylo will be a better choice overall, so that's why... Can I, can you get, are you going to get down here? What the hell? Thank you. Yeah, Ken. 120 coins. Even though he's only level 2, he was still considered his level 10 knight status. And Henri, 100 coins. I don't know why they bother resetting their level. Their level's just gonna keep counting for everything, but alright. Okay. So let's. Technically, Arthur is one of the best knights, but I have no. No desire for, basically, to have him be whatever he is, because though he gets magic, he doesn't really get anything all that useful, so I don't care. Oh, okay. Well, deal with that then, I guess. Um, right, what do we got here? The long swords, spears, and that's pretty much it. Long swords. Okay, who can have it? Cool for Balbaroy. And since at some point I'm going to probably want to use Amon, let's go for her too. Amon is, of course, a female that, you know, again, half these freaking things don't know. Let's just get rid of those two middle swords, and then we should be ready to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, so I agree with whoever said the the greedy shopkeepers. All right, let's go. It's always nice, it's always better to explore a town first, so that you might not have to buy a weapon. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you should, like, not let him just do that. You get nothing. You try to just with nothing in it. You get legs of haste, which increase the character's speed. Um, for the same reason that I gave the... Uh, quick ring or whatever it's called to Luke. I'm giving him this Oh, okay Ah, huh. that's interesting Um, yes, yes it is And they just take off without us I remember that they had like packed up everything real quick. I'm pretty sure there's somebody around here. Maybe that's the next area. Though you still have your your priest town, your priest here, and your headquarters. They're the only two things that did not move with you. Hmm. And we're thrust into battle. With none other than General Elliot. Okay. Yeah, I will. Even though he's got nothing on me. He's got some new enemies with him. Like artillery, which is just their version of archers, really. Let's go check them out. Let's go 
Pegasus Knights, some Silver Knights, three Dark Priests. What do they have equipped? Shield Rings? I guess that's the only way you can get Shield Ring, is their occasional drop off a Dark Priest. Anyone else have a Shield Ring? Or is it a Lance? They should have Lances too. Yeah, okay. And then this new, the new enemy is this artillery here. Obviously, except, you know, General Elliot himself. But yeah, let's, uh... Let's start this off right. Get in formation. Start moving forward. Yeah! I wish they didn't put us so freaking far away from the enemy. They're going to basically advance in stages, as pretty much most enemies have during this game. Alright, and I pro and I know that Johnny was upset during the last battle. There was no Hans action. I promise I will attempt to have Hans do more during this battle than he did the last battle. Which it won't be hard, because the last battle he did nothing, so... Hans, the name of Hans must live on as a soldier of power. Or something like that. It's just going to take me forever to get freaking over there. Tower her little bikini. The thing about Zylo is, is that he is not affected by the terrain at all. He will never be hampered by starting his turn in a forest or a mountain range, anything. Which is why it makes him a better fighter than Gort, even though Gort is pretty strong. This battle basically consists of two waves. It has this first wave that's all the Lizardmen, all the Knights, all the Pegs Knights, and then the two Priests. And the second wave results in Silver Knights, the Artillery, and obviously General Elliot himself. And unlike most other battles, they're not going to do silly, stupid things and just blindly rush you, because they're, you know, led by an actual general as opposed to just a schmuck leader man. Which means they sort of stay in a tight formation, which makes it great for Henri or Tao to get there, because then they just light everybody on fire. Right, right. Speaking of Tao, nice little bikini there. I did miss a dress in the last battle for Henri there. It's not like a super sexy dress, it just makes her look like a freaking... Pretty much take Link's tunic and put it on her, and that's what you get. But it's in the it's in the last battle where there's those three archers on that little ledge there, and it's the space to the left of the leftmost archer. And you have to get it during the battle, because obviously you saw it, you know, after the battle, there was no time for me to stop and look around, it was just we're moving on. So you have to get it during the battle. Which is real easy, once you get it down to just that Silver Knight, because then he won't do anything except stand at the bottom of the stairs. And as we slowly advance, and they do nothing... Get people caught up here. Come on, Hans, you need to get in on this battle this time. This game would be a little more appealing to me if it was like Final Fantasy Tactics where I could gain experience from counterattacking and set, you know, counterattacks and just set general abilities for people because as of right now there isn't a whole lot of strategy in the battle. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this power ring on Zylo here. Hopefully, what it, what the power ring does as an item is it casts the boost spell, which increases someone's offense by 15. Now, see, right there, nothing, it didn't say anything happened. 
except that it increases offense, which means that I can use that power ring again. However, randomly, it will say uh, the power ring begins to smoke, which means that you don't lose the power ring, even though it, it makes it seem like you do. It just you can you can't use it again to buff somebody else in this battle. I'm gonna get May up here. Get Henri there. Yeah, you come at me. Come at me, bro. Yeah, take that. You you deal that one damage. You also deal that one damage. Yeah, one damage. Alright, someone needs to... form up behind him. Alright, we'll just... Uh, I guess target him. Let's do some actual... start off some actual damage here. Yay, Hans is nowhere near close enough to do anything yet. Alright, we're... No, not egress only. No, I, I'm equipped. Okay, you can reach her from there. Good. One experience? Oh, yes. Nothing. Alright, good. Throw some spears at some lizard men. Oh, we nine this time. Oh man. Oh well, we did it twice. That's good, right? Right. Oh, I probably should start using Arthur again, simply because you know he's gonna—he's probably gonna be the best knight at the end of the game because of the spells he gets. But I really just don't want to because he sucks. Let's see how much damage this does. Woo! Boom! 17! Oh yeah. 45 experience. That's a way to get things done. I think the next person I'm going to use the, the ring on is Han, so he actually does some damage. Yes, get in formation, get nice and tight. Attack them? I don't think he cares. Looks like, yeah, what you got? Ow. Luke suddenly is no longer the tank that I thought he was. Great. Come on, Barbaroi. You get the ring again. You get the ring last if I get the chance to get it there. Yeah, and he gets level 8 and 1 speed. Wow. Thanks, game. Ow! Eight damage. Ow! Jerk. Man. Okay, you can do that. I don't care. Oh, he's already hurt. Ah! Oh, you, dude. What was that one? <sighs> Where the hell did that come from? Well, he can't reach anybody, so he's just gonna punch this guy in the face. He's like, hey, I'm gonna punch you. For one. Hooray! Thanks, Dong. Ugh. Now this is going south in a hurry. Well, not so much as south, is just... Oh my god, why is this happening to me? Right, Chris can do nothing, so he's just gonna sit back here. Man's going to throw a spear at... This guy. Oh, we see the power of her ring. Yeah! 20 damage! Right there. Straight death. Thanks, May. And she's gonna the Heat Axe. 
and gains level 12 for two more attack power. Awesome. Okay, he's nearly alive, so we'll just kill this guy. And there we go. Oh, we just finally got rid of somebody. We gained him almost half a level. Okay. Tao's turn. She's just gonna light this guy on fire again. This should just kill him. I don't think it can do less than six. And she's... should be level 11 now. Nope, nothing. Okay. Yeah. Like some serious people on fire. Ooh, 13. Is it going to critical everybody? That would be awesome. No? Alright, fine. But I'll take one move doing... Oh, you jerk. <laughs> yeah, screw you, buddy. Who did I promise the ring to? Oh, Hans, okay. Now if this if it doesn't break now, I can use it on Gong. Okay, it didn't break. Hooray! Come on, Han, show me what you're actually made of. Yeah, right there, in the face. Basically... You pretty much gotta stay there, or else you're gonna let someone else get killed. Ooh, yeah, down, okay. Basically, um, if, you, if you have someone attack, you take whatever damage they do, and then you add, basically the ring will just add 15 to it. Oh. It does wear off eventually? Man. Alright. I'm sorry, Barbaroy. This is pro- or Balbaroy. I keep calling it Barbaroy. This is probably not gonna go good for you. Yeah, this... You might just be dead here. No? Okay, still living. Hanging on. Yes! Ha ha ha! Hell with you. Your silly nonsense. Come on, Ken. You know what you do. You know how you roll. Dead lizard men. Or just stand there. Hey, you want to, you want to form right up next to uh, what's her name? Me, my guest. Thank you, Gong. Thank you. About oh, three attack level and one HP, and now he gets heal level two. I don't think he's going to be able to do much for the We're in sort of like the getting close to the second tier of monsters, so I want to have as many people, you know, quote, topped off as I can, because the only thing standing between us and them is like two dark priests. We'll go down here and stand by Ken. Hey, you just chuck a spear at this guy. Wow. Oh. Oh, 
Let's cripple these guys. I think the knight in the back there is the guy she hit once already. Yep. And she is level 11 to gain 2 HP and 1 MP. Hooray. Come on. Give me Tao's turn. Thank you. We should kill that Pegasus Knight, cripple this Lizard Man. And also level 11, with one defense, two speed. Alright, Barbara, show me what you got. Okay, he's almost at his next level already. Alright, we still have three Dark Priests. Four Silver Knights, the Artillery, and Elliot himself. That's right, Ken, you do some damage, like right off the bat. Start running forward, guys. Um, who did I want to do? Well, since I can do nothing else this turn, I'm just going to use the ring again on Xylo here. It still didn't break. Aw. Khan's lost it already. Yeah, you can heal yourself. It's not going to do you much good. It's the turn waster. Yeah, you waste your turn. Come on, low. That's right, you run forward and chuck a spear at this guy's head. And totally kill him. And down goes that guy. Yay, Hans gets to attack again. Except his... Hans, really? Is this what you're going to do to me now? trying to get you in this battle because Johnny was upset that you weren't in the last battle and now you're just not doing anything. I'm not pulling your weight, Hans. I'm mad. Battle hits level 10, 2 speed, 6 HP. Holy crap. Again, still can't do anything. Um, use the ring... Uh, I guess Bulk. Bell Boy, why not? Still unbroken, though I'm not gaining any experience for doing this. Alright, you move back there. That priest is basically just gonna hover around Elliot. He's, okay, these guys are moving up. Good. Now, Dark Pri Silver Knights aren't very, like, they're not very strong. They only have 16 HP compared to, you know, that's as much as a priest does. And compared to, like, other monsters, they're not that strong. So, you know, the fact that they're the next tier of enemy is kind of disappointing because they suck by comparison. Alright, come on, man. Yeah, just start killing people, left and right. And <laughs> we got rid of the guy on the top there. Alright, he probably won't kill him, though he will... Actually, he might, yeah. 
Oh, I thought. 40 damage! Holy shit! There you go, level 9. One defense, one speed. Hooray, game. And Ken should finish this guy off. See, unlike, you know, the Lizard Man or the Pegasus Knights, they pretty much came up and just were like, hey, and then... Like, nope, you're all dead. But, yeah. So, basically, Elliot is now all that's left with one priest and the artillery. Did I redo Hans, I think? No, but I have to. See? There's smoke rises from the power ring. Now I can't use it anymore for the duration of this battle. It is not gone from my inventory. It's not destroyed. I simply can't... No, I don't want to heal too. Heal 2, again, does not do any more, you know, actual, like, like, all level 2 spells. It doesn't do any more healing than the first level. It just increases the range at which you can cast it. Heal 3 actually does more uh, healing, and heal 4 is heal 3 with a longer range. Just gotta get some experience somewhere, right, low. experience. Alright, I don't think they're gonna do anything except stand there. Well, let's see if you can just walk up and beat this thing into submission. Yeah, there we go. And the artillery is dead. Damn it, Tons! I'm pretty much just gonna be me dueling with, uh... It's gonna be me dueling with Elliot for most of the rest of this battle. Someone just gotta take care of the priest. <sighs> just so you do something during this battle, heal this guy. Chris basically right now is simply a space taker. Because I do, I do like the presence of having three healers. Though I probably could replace him for a, another melee unit. But he's essentially a space taker. He's taking the place of a healer that I will get later in the game. Who will pretty much start at a much higher level. So, And Balbaroy killed the Dark Priest. Very to experience. And now you have no help whatsoever. Come on, Han, show me what you can show me what you can actually do. Please hit him this time. Thank you. So he would have normally done one damage, but because he had the boost thing on, he did 16. And of course now his boost is over. I don't think Elliot has a regen. Holy crap. And he gets level eleven and gains two more defense. Which I don't mind. And May is gonna come over here and he's like, hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm gonna throw his spear at you. Man, am I gonna be able to kill him before he gets a turn? That'd be awesome. No, I don't think so. Well.
13. I think I can do 13 with this sword. Yeah! Kill them before you got a turn! Alright! And I gained level 12. Awesome. One attack, one speed, six maximum HP. Alright. Um, sure. I'm not gonna try to rescue him. I'm just gonna try to kill him, but alright. Known at Protectora? That was the name of the freaking kingdom? How does nobody remember this? Well, yeah, unfortunately. And we're... Basically, just... Here's the town of Pal again. What awaits us here? I mean, I promised new party members, and there will be new party members next time on Let's Play Shining Force. Until then, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to keep checking out, like, Fantasy Star 4, the co-op LP that we're doing. You know, thanks for all the support in that and other things, and have a good night, guys.